Greetings and salutations all you folks out there. This is actually not a cast. I'm just going to be passively watching a game and if you came from the other cast that I did today, uh, you know what this is about. Typically, YouTube channels or people who produce YouTube channels do thank you videos on the milestones and I'm about to hit 2,000 subscribers so huge thank you to that But for that. But uh, I'm not necessarily here to extrapolate on how thankful I am to people who press the subscribe button. I want to tell you guys how much this all impacts me and what it has done for me. And I think that'll help you understand that this is more than just a simple thank you. This is something that I truly and deeply love to do and I love to interact with you guys. Let's rewind for a quick ramble and I'm gonna kind of zip in and out on the game here and look at what I think is interesting. You're gonna see how I typically watch a replay, what I'm looking at and uh, just peruse through it. Um, let's rewind a little bit, a few years back, um, before I was doing all of this and before I even started playing Forged Alliance. Um, I had some fairly serious personal issues and you know when I say that I'm not talking like oh I was on drugs and I was doing crime and this that and the other thing um, there was none of that but I it was just a hard place and I think everybody goes through a stage where you know you'll hit some depression you'll hit the uh, people joke about typical teenage angst but I don't think it's really that much to joke about because sometimes it can be more serious than that but um just coming out of a couple of really odd or bad relationships and not doing very well personally and kind of drinking a little bit for the wrong reasons hanging out with a bad crowd and doing things that were not necessarily health healthy for me mentally or emotionally and uh i was honestly in a fairly dark place and I stumbled across this game Forged Alliance and the community tied to it and I've told the story about how I found this place several times I'm not gonna go into that right now but um I I have to say I used to think that people were incredibly sad because they played a ton of video games and they were tied to a community so much I'll basically laugh at them and point and say ha ha nerd but I have seriously rethought my views on that over the last few years because when I found Forged Alliance there was a lot of guys that I talked to initially and the community here is really good there are some times when it can get extremely toxic but for the most part there's a bunch of good guys here that love to play a great game and we talk in Aeolus, we joke with each other, we chat, we even form friendships. I've met a couple of friends on here that I can honestly say I probably know them as well as anyone that I've met in real life and I talk to them more and I enjoy their company more. And I'm not going to go into listing a bunch of names here because that's neither here nor there but um, I really do value the people in the FAF community and they, me interacting with them gave me something to focus on that was not about me. And I think that's a key thing that a lot of people need to understand about depression because I, I don't want to call anybody just blatantly selfish because sometimes you're not intentionally being selfish but typically when you are at your most depressed you are focused entirely on you and your life and what's wrong with you and how bad you have it and when you reach that level of introversion where you seriously can't even consider anything outside of yourself it is not good it is not healthy for your psyche in the slightest and um, that contributes to a lot of the issues or that did directly contribute to a lot of the issues that I had and when I was able to turn outward and to focus on you know the community and talk with people and it wasn't in-person interaction but it helped me so much and this community FAF and I say this I'm gonna move on to YouTube in just a minute help me through one of the worst points 
that I have experienced. And they're one of the factors that helped. Another factor is my fiance, who I'm going to be marrying in three weeks. Um, I met her, uh, well, not met her. I've known her since we were kids, but I started dating her about three years ago, which was shortly after this all started happening with Forge Alliance and the community here. Um, and between the two of those, that helped me come out of my introversion, the place where I was stuck and I couldn't escape from myself, basically. Um, when I was alone at home, and you know, when typically you turn to things that you shouldn't really be thinking about or engaging in, um, that is the biggest enemy when you're alone, is sometimes you start thinking suicidal thoughts. Let's be realistic here. Um, I, I told you guys this was going to get dark. This wasn't a cast. Hopefully you'll stick with me through this, because it does get better. Um, I was able to turn to the FAF community, and then my now fiancé, then girlfriend, um, was able to pull me out of the house and get me active and get me engaged in doing things and you know, teach me that, you know, Everyone is not bad for you. People can help each other. People can talk and engage. And um, it, it was a lot. Of, it, it was a learning experience, and I have the utmost respect for people who can come through a severe phase of depression and actually be functional later. And uh, it, I'm not going to label myself as the worst of those by any means, but. I did struggle with it. But anyway, moving out of that, um, I, I was able to re-engage with life and pick things back up. And I have a good job now. I'm happy with my work. And I have everything in my life apparently lined up. But things still, you know, occasionally the thoughts hit and things don't necessarily go like I want them to. And um, I, I know a, a f couple of months ago, uh, I kind of slacked back on casting a little bit and that was one of those times where honestly I was struggling to be motivated about anything doing anything <clears throat> but moving on from that what YouTube has done um, I came home today and if you have not listened to uh, the cast that I did maybe you know listening to that keep this in mind or if you already listened to it if you heard how I was able to get psyched up and happy about it, and I was able to do that whole cast and engage myself in it. YouTube, these videos have given me something to focus on and to get psyched up about and to give to people, and it, it is something that helps me focus on things that are not myself. And I had, I, my fiance is probably going to listen to this and ask me about it afterwards, you know, how girls are with always wanting to know the inner details of everything. But uh, we had a very long discussion today, and it was a good discussion, but it brought up a lot of really bad memories and things that I really didn't want to think about. And uh, I, I was not feeling the greatest, and I was on my way home, and I was like, you know what? It's Wednesday night. I need to do my cast for Thursday. I need to get engaged, get happy get uh, get my game face on, so to speak, and do this because I don't need to lose a day. I don't need to get off of my schedule because then it's harder to do the next one. So I psyched myself up and I got back in here and by the time I was ready to do the video and engage with you guys, even though I'm not engaging directly, I'm, I'm giving this out to you guys, I was psyched up and ready to go and I jumped into that and I actually felt better about the cast that I just did than I have about casts in a long time. Uh, I felt like I was there in it and talking to you guys directly and it does wonders for my mood and for my mental state to be able to give these things to y'all it benefits me so much and i love engaging with you i love the comment section everything that you send the replays that you send in i do watch every single replay even if it's not um if it's not featured on the channel if if Nothing ever comes of it. I sit down and I watch the games because I love to see them with you guys. I may buzz through some slower parts at plus 10, but I see it and I'm there with you and I love watching it. Seeing what makes you enjoy it. Now, keeping that in mind, I can't feature all of them because I have a limited amount of space. I have far, far more games submitted than I have time to make videos of. Um, and, you know, some of them, they're exciting to play and I can see 
the gold in them. I can see where you had fun in them, but they're just not conducive to casting, to bringing out to people. But I do watch them, and I want you to know that. And I do read all of my messages and everything that you guys send. So thank you so much for that and just being an engaging community. I love the people here that are tied into this. And it, it is it is absolutely my pleasure to be here with you, to give you these videos, and then to engage with you afterwards. And it, it, it is a wonderful thing. It has helped me out personally to great lengths. I just want you guys to understand that. That was a long backstory. It's a lot of rambling to get to the point, but um, the FAF community specifically played a big part in me coming around from a really nasty point in my life, and the YouTube community, uh, community keeps me engaged on a daily basis, helps me fit into a groove to feel like I'm part of something because you guys pick me up and carry me along with this. I never thought that a YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, would go this far when I first started, and I it picked up momentum. People started joining, getting on board with it, watching regularly, and you know I've kind of built up. I I hate calling it a fan base. I don't see myself as having fans. I'm just you know some average dude works on a construction site and comes home and plays a video game. You know who has time for that? But there's people who have followed me and. Uh, they're probably watching this video right now. You know, they send me messages and tell me about things in their personal lives and ask me about things in mine, and that is just the coolest thing ever. Um, I, I can't, I can't underestimate. I can't, uh, I, I can't talk. That's the problem I'm having right now. I can't talk. Um, I, I can't put into words how great that is. Um, so I just wanted you guys to know that. And you know, like I said, pushing up on 2,000 subscribers. I didn't think that I would get to this point, and I am incredibly grateful for how far this has come and how much this has contributed to me. And, uh, well, I've got a couple minutes left on this game. So, that was pretty much all I wanted to say in this. I, I, I love you guys, and I love doing this. One thing, tell you what, something I can mention while we're looking at this. Um, Things that I did not anticipate, besides getting this many subscribers and people watching, I did not anticipate how time-consuming this would be. Um, I'm trying to launch Heroes of the Storm gameplay, as you guys have probably seen. I'm not going to leave FA behind. Again, this is going to be something that I always do. But uh, I am trying to expand some, just to try to reach out to more people and get more people engaged. And... Uh, I did not realize how time-consuming it was. I watch, you see people like uh, Jacksepticeye and, you know, uh, I hate to even reference him because I'm not a, uh, not advocating him, but PewDiePie and um, Markiplier is another one that I watch semi-regularly. Um, you look at them and go, oh, they have the best life ever. They sit around and play video games and make videos about it. And... I don't think people realize how time-consuming it is because <laughs> for the Heroes of the Storm game I've probably turned in 40 hours on that game already just grinding it doesn't matter if I like the like the uh, Hero or not. I got to play it to get it up to the level that I need to have For all the abilities to be unlocked and for me to have a reasonably good idea of how to play him even if I'm not enjoying how to play him and when I dove into this when I did started doing Supreme Commander, I'd already been playing the game for a couple of years, so it was no big deal. Like I already had several thousand games in, and you know it's like, oh, I know all this stuff. I can just pick up and cast it. With Heroes of the Storm having to learn a new game, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ludicrous how much time it takes. So this is something I would love to do this full time to sit and just thoroughly analyze strategy games. I love strategy games. It is by far my favorite genre. But strategy games take so much time to learn because overall they're pretty complicated. I know Heroes of the Storm is not the most complicated game ever, but speaking as a whole, strategy games take so much time to learn to the point that you can confidently cast them without stumbling over yourself all the time. So. That's probably the biggest issue that I've run into. The thing that surprised me the most was how time consuming this would be. So I'm just saying that to say, when you look at how many videos I release that it's not on a daily basis and you look at other people that are releasing, you know, two or three per day, I have a full-time job that's not YouTube, so. 
<laughs> I would love to be here with you guys sharing more, but it is just completely infeasible at the moment. So I'll give you what I can. Uh, you have the best that I can offer you, and I can confidently say that. I'm always trying to improve to get things that can improve what I'm doing, to learn things that can improve what I'm doing. But overall, you guys, you've got me and you've got me for the foreseeable future. I love doing this and I'm thankful every day for uh, just all of the stuff that you do for me. You may not think it's much. It's much. It may just be um, you know, a, a word here or there or a comment or a suggestion or a replay sent in, but it does mean a lot to me and I am incredibly grateful for it. All right, enough rambling for me, mushy, feely. Uh, somebody's going to label me an emo, but that is totally okay. I'm going to get out of your hair and leave you alone with this. Hopefully you enjoy this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and especially thank you for sticking through this video for the whole story. And uh, thank you for subscribing and being here. I am eternally appreciative. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next video, which is probably going to be a Heroes of the Storm video, and then the live cast Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern United States time. Do not miss it. You do not want to miss out on all of the live chat question and answer. We're going to cast a game. going to play a game with you guys at a live session, and it is a great time. So be there for that. I will see you over there, and uh, that's it. Adios.